Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash So in this episode of my vlog series, I will be um, unboxing, well technically, <laughs> uh, I will be checking out my new book uh, buys uh, via Anvil Publishing, uh, their online store. You know? So I bought this uh, two weeks ago. It took them about two th two weeks, you know, to, to have it delivered. I understand because of uh, what's going on uh, with COVID and, and everything. So I'm gonna share with you the three books, new books, Filipino books, Filipiniana books that I bought um, in Anvil. Let's start off with the Manila we know. So this is an anthology book. Um, it's a nostalgia book. So I'm reading the blurb. <laughs> Um, the book uh, blurb. Um, so it's a compila compilation of essays written by, let's see, Paolo Alcazarin, uh, Jaime Silaya, Benito Legarda, um, Lourdes Armin Montenola, Alfred Cripp, Yuson, Virgil, O Santos. So these are their memories, you know, essays about their memories, about, the, about nostalgia, about old Manila. So they used to live in, let's say, Quiapo, Escolta, Sampaloc, San Juan, Broadway in New Manila. So I'm very excited no? to, to start reading this. So let me just open the plastic and see. This is the new newsprint version. I should have gotten the book, pep, uh, book paper, but uh, it's okay. Um, maybe next time. No? Okay, so this is what it looks like oh nice there are pictures okay pictures of old manila or araneta i think this is araneta or oh, cubao this is cubao araneta coliseum and balara okay nice i'm so excited to start reading this okay next up is Jaime Silaya. So, Jaime Silaya used to be a governor of Banco Central or Central Bank during um, the Marcos era. So, it was still called Central Bank no, during that time. He also became uh, the director of Intramuros administration in the early 1980s. He's still very much a well sought after um, speaker regarding uh, Philippine history, particularly Manila. No? Spanish Manila. Let's see. Letras A Figuras Business and Culture, Culture and Business. Oh, let's see. Oh, I'll, okay. I thought it was like something about business or, but I, I think it's also an anthology. A lot of essays. Let's see what it's described. So this book is a compilation of articles and papers of Dr. Jaime Silaya on culture and arts matters. They were written at various times and on various occasions starting from the early 1980s until the present. The final essay written for this book is on the interface be between culture and development. So I again very interesting because I saw an article that I think I would start reading. Let me see. So it's it's my first time to. Oh, nice! A history of Marilao Bulacan. Very unusual. Visita Iglesia. Some of the topics. Malacanang. Oh, a lot of insider notes, no? Uh, Intramuros. Oh, okay. Hoy Pogi. <laughs> There's an article that says who Hoy Pogi, the Black Nazarene of Quiapo. So. Very exciting to read. No? And the last one we have is the Governor General's Kitchen by Feliz Prudente Santa Maria. So let's see. Um, be careful not to cut the book itself, but just the plastic. Okay. <laughs> I cannot find. Okay, here. This wood. Don't worry, I, you know, when I got the package, I took 
the necessary precautions. I wiped it down, I sanitized it. So, the Governor General's Kitchen is all about uh, Philippine culinary vignettes or vignettes, sorry. The Governor General's Kitchen, Philippine Culinary Vignettes and Period Recipes, 1521 to 1935. Oh, nice. Okay. So, all about Spanish cooking, no? Spanish cooking as interpreted by Filipinos or Philippine cooking. Indigenized Filipino cooking. Culinary codes and measures. So, it's 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 a lot about um, the history of cooking in the Philippines, a lot of historical background, and then, of course, recipes. But I don't think I'll be able to follow all of them. Again, so excited. The milkmaid. Huh? The lechera. Le et lech oh, okay, Spanish. La lechera. And then the, ver the English version, the milkmaid. Maybe that's where the milkmaid milk brand came from. No? So, a lot of pictures as well. I really like books, especially history books with illustrations. It helped me visualize. Maybe that's why I am called the visual traveler. But uh, it helped me visualize what the events would look like or what the character or what the Filipinos, the people in it would, would look like as well. So, these are my three new book, Filipino books. The Governor General's Kitchen, uh, Letras y Figuras, and finally, The Manila We Know. All right. So, I bought them through Anvil um, Publishing and their online bookstore. So, thanks for watching, everyone. See you on my next episode.